Hello friends, how are you guys? Welcome back. I just got out of the shower. You guys know I'm a shower at night kind of gal. Are you guys the same? Are we shower at night kind of people? Are we shower in the morning kind of people? Are we shower once a day kind of people or twice a day? So I was at Target the other day, which um, I pretty much live at Target. I always see the skincare brand and I am so excited to share the skincare brand with you guys. So this skincare brand is called Verse. It is literally the cutest packaging, but they actually don't focus too much of their brand on packaging. I've learned that they're more about what's inside the packaging and the formulation that matters. Everything from this line is under $25, which I was not aware about because I love when skincare products not only work, but they are affordable, and that is really, really important to me. Aside from that, they say no to animal testing, which is amazing, and they are completely clean as well. I'm actually really excited because I'm actually partnering up with Verse for this video. And I couldn't be more excited, honestly, to share this brand with you guys because actually I'm so excited to try this specific product on camera with you for the very first time. But aside from that product, these have been amazing. I've been able to try some of these and I always hear so many things about them on TikTok. They're everywhere on TikTok. Actually, the first product that really introduced me to Verse was this one. Um, a girl used it before she went out for the night and she had it all over her shoulders. And this gives you like a really, really nice glow. So I'm really excited to try this. I also forgot to mention to you guys that all of their products are not only vegan, but they use sustainable packaging. So this right here is actually a three-step process. And these three products actually make up their Hydration Heroes bundle. So first and foremost, you have the gel cleanser, which I actually haven't been using too much of this. I did try it for a little bit and I actually really liked it. It was very hydrating, didn't leave my face feeling very stiff after. Usually with a lot of other cleansers, I feel that way. But with this, I felt like it was really hydrating. But like I said, I only was able to use a little bit of it because, oh, by the way, I do want to mention this to you guys. This gel cleanser has this minty feel and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I could stand here and probably do this all day. I think I'm probably going to incorporate this into my morning skincare routine because it's really going to wake me up. It feels minty on the skin, very cooling, also a really nice spa sensation, very relaxing. I love it. I think this might be kind of like my morning cleanser. I have been loving their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This actually removes makeup pretty well, and I love the way this makes me feel super hydrating, very creamy on the skin. It smells super soothing and relaxing as well, and does a really good job taking the makeup off. But if you're someone like me who has dry skin, this Hydration Heroes bundle is really good. It's a three-step process. You have your gel cleanser. And then for the second step, you have your hydrating hyaluronic serum. And then for the final step, which I have been loving this last step so much, I love a really good creamy, moisturizing, buttery moisturizer. This is their Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. Look at that, you guys. So good, and a little bit goes a long way, which I love because everything is under $25, and it smells so soothing. The scent is not strong. I love when scents aren't strong. Um, very subtle, almost kind of there, but not really there. It's not gonna give you a headache. So usually, this whole entire Hydration Heroes bundle is $48, but you can get it 20% off for $39.99. I'll have everything linked down there for you guys. I want to show you guys this one really quick. This is their cleansing balm and it's so, so good. Look at that, you guys. So it looks like that, but once it touches your skin, it turns on, it turns into this really nice kind of like oil base and it breaks down all of your makeup. This right here is their advanced night cream. This is going to give you a really nice moisturize strong barrier but also give you radiant glowy skin as well i need to try this a little bit more to give you guys my opinion but so far i've been really liking it but not going to give you my final opinion yet 
And then of course, with everybody who has dry skin, we love a good glowy, oily base to keep the moisture on our face all day. This is their Verse Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum. So you put this all over your face. I love doing this under makeup if I'm doing a really glowy look, but this is also really great um, at night as well when you're resting and letting all that moisture soak into your skin. This one I wanna try on screen with you guys. This is the Verse Moonlight Glow Drops. So you can put this like two or three, one, two, three, one or two drops. I got so excited, I said three. One to two drops into your moisturizer or face makeup. Let's do, oh, that was a big drop. Let's see. Oh. Hi everyone! We are heading to Capri Tailoring, um, which is owned by Tom. If you guys are in the Temecula area and you're looking to get your dresses, your suits, anything, pretty much anything altered, check out Tom. I'll link him down below. He was the one that altered Carlos's tuxedo for the wedding two weeks ago and then also the green dress that I wore. And he is literally an angel on earth. He is like the sweetest guy ever. So we are actually taking our curtains around our house back to him so he can alter them a little shorter because they're way too long. Um, they're like dragging on the floor and I'm really hating the look. I feel like it's really weighing me down <laughs> and making the area look a little bit more cluttered and I don't want that. So we are altering all the curtains except the ones behind the couch because no one really sees the bottom anyways. So I'm really, really excited to see the final result. I feel like it's gonna make the house look very sleek and clean. So there's this new place that just opened up and I'm obsessed with it. It's called Better Buzz Coffee and it is based out of San Diego, I believe, from what I've learned. It was started in San Diego. It's really big down in San Diego, which is only an hour from us and they just brought a location, I think, to Temecula as well. I don't know, their Instagram says San Diego and Temecula. Anywho, you guys, it's right next to my favorite Chipotle and there used to be a Starbucks here, but they removed the Starbucks probably a year ago and I was anticipating what was going to open up here. So the other day I went here and got a coffee and it is so good, you guys. The only thing that's like inconvenient is that it's in a huge shopping center um, and there's no drive-through. I just wish it had the convenience of a drive-through. I can just like swing by and get it whenever I want. But it's called Better Buzz and they make literally one of the best coffees I've ever had. If you guys love like a really, really good good um not too creamy but not too bitter like literally the most beautiful iced coffee and you guys see a better buzz near you make sure you guys check them out it's so good i have two drinks that i love today i got a matcha you guys know i love a good matcha latte and their matcha latte isn't as sweet as starbucks which i love but it's still very creamy and so i always get like a matcha latte or they have a drink called best drink ever which is so funny because i talked about it on instagram and one of you guys messaged me and said what is the drink called we know it's like the best drink ever but what is it called and i was like no 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 it's actually called best drink ever on the menu so those are like my two favorite Favorite, but the best drink ever on their menu is a really good iced coffee. So if you guys ever see a better buzz, oh my god, matcha latte is so good. I'm not even kidding. I don't even want to go to Starbucks anymore. Like this is way better. Oh, let's lock this. <laughs> you guys know it's good when I am willing to get out of the car for it. Oh my goodness. Life's better buzz. We're here. This is Capri Taylor Inc. <laughs> um, and it's owned by Tom, who's like the sweetest guy ever. There is the information. I'll also link his business down below. He is just so amazing, you guys. Come support him if you live in the area and you need anything altered. I got pho for lunch. I'm so excited. We're at Faha, which is my favorite pho to get in this area. Um, it's hard to find pho where I moved to. I used to live in Orange County where there's pho in like every corner of the street. But now it's hard to find good pho. Um, and since I'm Vietnamese, I'm pretty picky about my pho. But this place isn't bad. 
It's called Faha. I'll link it down below for you guys. Perfect day for fun. Yeah. I always gotta add my basil leaves, the jalapenos. <laughs> I love basil. That was absolutely delicious. I looked around the corner and there's a Target. I went to Target last night uh, near me and they literally took out all the home decor and they put Christmas stuff up. And I was just so shocked that I couldn't even find like, I was just looking for like a little plant for the pantry because I wanted to decorate the pantry today and finally wrap it up because tomorrow um, is kitchen demolition day. I also feel like I have so much on my plate because we are launching our small business next Friday and we still have a few things to do so I'm feeling a little bit stressed but Target will take the stress off of me my Target did not have these they're so cute they're in the $5 section oh my goodness look how cute these are I love that they're white they kind of stay with our decor because I'm not going for any pop of color this year I'm doing something different but these are so cute I might get a few they also have like red and green if you're going for that vibe and then there's also cute little trees and stuff oh my gosh look at these these are velvet look you guys velvet trees how cute oh my gosh those are adorable there's more here and then I found some Christmas trees I think these are so cute Oh, three dollars what a deal Target has all their Christmas stuff out you guys it is oh my god I'm gonna get this for Michelle so I bought Michelle a mini Christmas tree I think two or three years ago because her family doesn't put up their big Christmas tree anymore and I wanted her to feel super festive in her room so I got her like a mini Christmas tree and I was like oh my god I'm gonna get her these mini ornaments oh my gosh how much are these yeah five dollars okay I'm gonna get this for Michelle We'll give it to her when we see her this weekend. How freaking adorable. I think I might grab a few of these. These would look so cute on like the, the TV stand. Like being festive but not being too bright this year. How cute are these? Oh my goodness. They say baby elf on them. 
Oh, I die. So cute. And then look at these little slippers. I love it. You can match with mama, mama and papa. That's adorable. So I'm realizing that this Target is smaller than the one by my house, but because my Target is a super Target, I feel like everybody goes there and buys all the inventory. This Target has a lot of inventory. I've seen so much and I just enter the store. They have all of their Christmas PJs out. Um, I grab these Christmas trees. I think they'll be really cute on the TV stand. But then I found these for $1. Let me show you guys. These for $1. They're like super mini and cute. I'm doing this green because I think it's adorable. $1. I love it. Okay, we are in the decor section. Let's see what we can find here. A lot of greens for Christmas time. Wouldn't this be so cute above our new pantry since we did like an archway entry? I think this would be so freaking cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can you just imagine this above the, the new pantry? I was thinking about putting a mistletoe, but I don't know, I really like this. This is adorable. No, my husband called to see where I was, but I forgot to tell him I got him a hot panini sandwich, so it was sitting at the door. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, mom. Well, this is for you. Okay. I never got it for you, right? No. Okay. I know we don't I'm need use it. it on the first one I pull out my tree. Oh my god, I can't wait for you to decorate your tree. I know we don't I don't I know we don't need it, but like is it worth it? Like is it is my current one cuter? I guess here's the thing. The only logical reason I would say is because like you're too lazy to often refill yours cuz yours is smaller. Mm. That's really the only other reason, but your other one really cute and it goes with that little placemat thing okay moving on moving on so you didn't make your decision are you keeping or not keeping i don't know do you, you don't like these huh no i like those better than the little one dollar ones. Oh, you don't but these are good fillers oh you know what i'm saying like to have a little bit of balance then i like both of them because okay. they're like different kinds should i i have two of these green ones should i get more yeah. Okay, I'll grab two more then. Yeah. Should I grab more of this? Maybe like one more. Okay. <laughs> oh, my husband's calling. Bye. <laughs> Tell him to stop. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm home. Ugh, every single time it turns really cold outside, like probably starting end of October, beginning of November, like literally right now, I always get a congested nose every night when it starts getting cold. So I have this Mucinex nose spray. I'll link it down below. If you guys experience, sorry, my husband is uh, water picking his veneers. Um, if you experience the same thing as me, and it's so annoying because when you're congested, it causes a headache, at least for some people, especially me. So I have literally been loving this spray. I've been using it for years. I will recommend it to anybody. My mother-in-law has a bunch. I literally got my mom some too. It's amazing. Anywho, my neighbor, Trayvon, the sweetest guy in the world. Love him so much. Um, he is so funny and like he's just very like hip and cool and he plays super loud music all the time and I love it and he throws like the craziest parties. Well, anywho, um, he has an olive tree in front of his house and it's beautiful and I think he's preparing to do redo his front yard soon and I'm scared that he'll throw away his olive tree so I texted him and I was like, hey, can I cut some of the branches because I love olive branches. I don't know if you guys have noticed but that's kind of the vibe of our home is I really love olive branches. I don't like any other branches or like, I don't like too much greenery and that's why I like olive branches because they have a really nice like muted green color. They're very soft and dainty but they add like the perfect amount of greens into your house. Um, and I texted him and I was like, hey, can I cut a few? And he was like, yeah, go ahead. So I am gonna go over there right now and cut a few branches. Carlos does not wanna come with me because he's already feeling like the secondhand embarrassment. But I don't care because I'm getting this for free and I'm down for a good olive branch. So I am gonna go, um, I think I'm gonna bring you guys with me, but I'm trying to bring you guys where I don't show like 
like Trayvon's house and like respect his privacy. So let me grab some like scissors. Boys, where did you put mommy's scissors? We like never can locate. Oh, and then I gotta come home and I gotta clean this mask. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show you the new pantry when I get back because we're gonna organize that thing. Let me find scissors, I'll meet you at my neighbor's house. Mommy's just going to the front real quick. Come on boys, go potty. Be safe. Oh, it's so nice outside. Look you guys, he's got some branches down here too. They're so pretty, I love this color, it's like nice and muted. I don't even know if this is an olive branch, to be honest. I apologize if I got that wrong. It looks like an olive branch, but I don't know if it actually is. So, this is what we are going to. Carlos said I can just snap it because we couldn't find scissors, so we'll see. Carlos is killing weeds right now. This thing that we bought on Amazon, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's really good. Once you spray, you leave it on for like 24 hours, and the weed either dies or you just pull it out and they never grow back again. And it comes with that little spray thing, which is cool. Okay, well, I broke one off with my foot. Let's see. We don't have, um, what are they called? Like, garden scissors? So. Yeah. Nice. Two. Two branches. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Uh, look at them, you guys. Okay. Oh, they're hard. Oh my God. I think this is all I need for now. Pretty. Oh, I got four. Yay. That's the weed killer right there that Carlos is holding. I will link it for you. It's so good. I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff on the rocks. You guys, guess who literally put everything into her jump drive so she could bring it to the post office to print because we ran out of ink last night, literally, when we got to like the last piece of paper, like the last like five pieces. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just make copies at the post office and then we'll ship it and I put everything in a little jump drive and I freaking forgot it at home, you guys. It was a hassle. But anyways, we did our errand. That was like the most important thing I needed to do today. And then guess what I found when I was inside and I had to get it. You guys, look at this. They're mini little measuring tapes. I'm squeaking right now because I'm so excited. I got a few. Look, I want to show you. I can't wait to show Carlos when I get home. Look, they're little mini measuring tape. You guys know I'm always like redecorating and doing stuff. You can attach these to your freaking keychain and then you pull them and they measure up to three feet. Three feet, you guys. Isn't this so freaking cute? I'm such a sucker for mini things. Like, are you guys the same? Whenever I see mini things, I go crazy. Like, Carlos and I, sometimes we will binge watch people make like mini foods in their mini kitchens, and it is so satisfying. But look how cute this is. So I got one for Brian. You can, you guys know Brian Larios. He does everything around our house. And him and Jocelyn are really good friends of ours. So I got one for Brian in case he ever goes to like a consultation. Um, and he needs to measure and he doesn't have his measuring tape. And then I got one for Mario. Who also does a lot around our house. And then I got one for Louie. Because Mario and Louie, they work together. And then, you guys know... I had to get one for myself. For what? I don't know, but I needed it. Aren't they so cute? I don't really, I'm sure you can find these online if you type in like what, miniature tape measures. They are 
Ah, oh, adorable. I'm at Lowe's. I'm gonna look at something for our garage, but oh my gosh, you guys know what that means. It's Christmas. Christmas trees are coming out, you guys. Oh my gosh, cute. Lowe's has quickly become one of my favorite places. I love coming here now. Okay, I think what we need is in this section. Like I'm looking for something like that for the garage. Um, I'm hoping, oh, it's right there, it's right there. I saw this on TikTok. And I, oh, I should have gotten a cart. I was so scared it wouldn't fit in my car. Okay, so I'm looking at this one. I saw this one on TikTok. This lady has like seven of these in her garage and she uses them to organize like, you know, um, like during special occasions when you like whip out your really nice plates and pots and stuff. She puts them in here and then she also stores all of her seasonal decor in here. So I thought I could get one. Um, and it's pretty big. Oh my god. I think I can probably fit like three of those in our garage. And let's see. Do they have them? Yeah. Oh, this box is like the smaller one. Hmm. I wish I could open them, but I can't. But I'm glad I found them. This is what I'm looking for. I've made a decision. I'm gonna get one for now because I don't need to be over buying things. I'm gonna get one, bring it home, and then once I need more, I'll just keep adding more. Um, Cause I think Lowe's always has it, but now I need someone's help because I already tried and this is way too heavy for me. So yeah, I'll link them down below for you guys. If you guys are interested, there's a tall and the jumbo. I'm gonna get the jumbo. I underestimated myself. No one was here to help me, so I just did it myself. Props to me. <laughs> you can do it. Believe in yourself. I just came out of Target. I got a bunch of gift cards for presents. Usually I don't love doing gift cards because I really like really thinking about presents and gifting people stuff that they would use, but it's been a crazy few weeks and I just haven't had the time. But I wanted to show you guys cards. I got this little birthday card. Sorry, the sun's in the way. How cute is that? And then one of our friends is pregnant. So I got them this little baby card. It has little socks on them. Knitted socks, so cute. Literally almost everyone in our life is pregnant. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but my sister-in-law is pregnant with my with my third child. Oh my God, with her third child. So we have Kim Sung, who you guys know. I was, I was there in the delivery room when Kim Sung was born. And then her brother came in 2020 and now it's 2022. And they're actually um, doing, finding out the gender at the baby shower. But unfortunately, I have to miss the baby shower because we have so much going on. But I already told my brother ahead of time. Um, it's just been a crazy, crazy time for like everyone in our family. And then I also got this one for another friend who's pregnant. It says <laughs> little cuties on it. How cute. And then my neighbor Vanessa is also pregnant, which I'm so excited for her. I love her to death. She's having a baby boy, and I thought this card was adorable. So I'm actually also missing Vanessa's baby shower this Saturday because I have my photo shoot for our small business. So I'm sad about that. It's just so crazy, especially when everything happens like in the month of November and December. Like I'm sure you guys can relate. Everyone gets so busy. Like, it was so hard for us to plan Friendsgiving with all of our friends. Like, imagine trying to get, like, 
20 people together in one night um, to do Friendsgiving, but we're hosting Friendsgiving again this year, so I'm excited for that. I'm going to head to this new Korean restaurant that just opened up about like 10 minutes from me. It's called Mama's Kitchen. If you guys love Korean food as much as I do and you live in like the same area that I do, there's not a lot of Korean food at all. Like I crave Korean food whenever I go back to Orange County, but they just opened up a new place called Mama's Kitchen. I'll link it down below for you guys. They make authentic Korean dishes. Um, so I'm gonna go get some bibimbap for dinner. I forgot to show you guys. This is the current state of our kitchen. We are not getting the waterfall island until next Tuesday, so this is gonna be our island. Tomorrow they're coming to take measurements. Today they demoed and took the old countertop. Oh my gosh, but look how pretty, look how pretty the pantry is from here. 24 seven, you guys. But um, yeah, for now this is what we're dealing with. This is what I'm having for dinner. Oh my God, so good. This is called bimbimbap in um, Korean. Just a rice dish, mix it up with veggies. I have beef. They have the best miso soup and then a bunch of sides. Like kimchi and stuff. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. I just finished building the shelves. Carlos is still working on his. He's also molded on as well. Um, they were not that bad, but sometimes with plastic, it doesn't match up perfectly. So there were like a few corners that we struggled a little bit, but this is what the cabinets look like. So if you guys are looking for a good option to organize your garage or pretty much anything that you need, basic cabinets that are pretty big like this is huge you guys so let me show you guys the inside you can adjust the shelves to your liking so for mine let me open it up so I can show you guys for mine I actually wanted the shelves to be a little bit thicker because I have those big pots that I use for like seafood boils and soups and stuff so I only bring those out once in a while when I do do a seafood boil so I wanted to leave that amount of space for the pots but you can actually make them smaller, use this for like Christmas decorations, like seasonal, you can put your Halloween stuff away right now, you can bring your Thanksgiving stuff out, you can organize like sports equipment, uh, paint, tools, pretty much anything. And if I can build it, you guys definitely can build it because I suck at building things. It also comes with these handles, which go right here. You just nail them from the back. It's plastic, so it should be easy to nail through. But I will link this cabinet down below for you guys. It comes in multiple sizes. I'll link the one that I got, and then you guys can check out the other ones. We just put the handles on, and I wanted to show you guys. I love when companies label things because it makes building so easy. Um, but anyways, they label where the holes should go. So it's super easy for Carlos to drill it in, and it's super even. This took like two seconds because they labeled where everything should be. And they literally labeled like which door you should be working on. It was so easy. Anyways, super cute. Good morning, friends. Welcome back, welcome back. It is a new day. Um, the island people came back this morning to measure the island, um, the new waterfall island that's going in because they're doing like a template. So they came and measure for like the last hour and a half, hour or so. Um, I'm actually going to organize the pantry today, I think. Not like completely, just like a little bit, because I do have a bunch of other things to do before we head down to Orange County tomorrow um, for the big photo shoot for our small business. So, uh, but first I wanted to show you guys the pantry. I realized in this whole vlog we didn't get a chance to see the brand new pantry, so here it is. As you guys can tell, we currently don't have an island. Before we go into the beautiful pantry that I'm literally obsessed with, I wanted to show you guys our new pendant lights. I believe that they're still on sale. When I bought them two weeks ago, I think this is Crane Barrel or CB2, I will link these pendants down below for you guys. 
Uh, they were on sale when I bought them, um, and it was a really good price for the size. These are 22 inches across. They also have a 28 inch. So if you guys have a kitchen area that's way bigger than ours, I think 28 inch would be such a statement for pendants. But I absolutely love them. If you look at them closely, they are linen and they're beautiful. I think that the fabric really adds like a cozy, warm vibe to the kitchen. And I just can't believe this. I mean, I knew about it, but sometimes I forget that the pendants really change the way your kitchen looks. So if you guys remember before, we had like glass little spears. And those were great, but they got really dusty and really dirty. Um, and things would get inside, so it would be so hard to clean. And I felt like those were more of like a very industrial vibe. So I wanted something a little bit more cozy. I love these, they're so cute. I will go ahead and link them for you guys, but I wanted to show them to you guys in case the sale is still going on. You can catch them while you still can. We got so many questions about it, but okay, let's look at the pantry. So, I am so excited. I've been wanting this for a while. I've had this idea in my head ever since we moved into this house. Actually, when we moved into this house and they were asking me if I wanted a door at the pantry, I actually opted for no door. And then when we got the keys to the house after it was done being built, somehow I had a door, so I just took it. <laughs> um, but I always knew that I wanted something like this. I wanted a open pantry that was not only aesthetically pleasing, but very functional. I'm all about being functional around the house. Um, I don't like when things just look pretty. I want them to look pretty and also be very useful, not only for me, but like everyone else that lives in the house as well, which is basically Carlos, but eventually one day, um, if we have kids, you know, I wanna be able to think about how I can make their life easy as well. So, anywho. This is a arch, and so what happened was Mario and Louie, I will link their information down below. Um, if you guys live in the Southern California area and you need help around the house, handyman stuff, or you need things to be built, they can do absolutely anything. But I had them remove the door, and then I had them make the open entryway into an arch. And I think it is absolutely freaking stunning, you guys. So when you walk in, I love how warm it is. It is so freaking pretty. This is our new pantry. Um, I was a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie to you, because I was like, oh my god, is this enough space for all of our stuff? It turns out, we have extra space left over. It's, can you guys believe it? This literally fits everything that we need, which is amazing. I planned all of this out on paper before Mario came. Like I told him that I wanted cabinets down here, and then I wanted a countertop, and then I wanted two shelves. And then on this side, we added these additional shelving. And I like it because on this side, you can hide like the non-aesthetically pleasing stuff, but you still need it throughout the day. Like, you know, Chick-fil-A sauce is very important. You never know when you need honey or A1 sauce, mustard, barbecue sauce. So in the back here of the pantry that you don't see often is things that we kind of just need every day. Things like this, like it just doesn't make sense, but it's still there. We love it, we need it. Um, we have like the boys dog stuff down there, but I wanted to uh, go ahead and link everything for you guys in case you want to replicate this at your home. So these cabinets right here, um, they're actually base cabinets from Lowe's. Lowe's has this beautiful section in the back of their store. I, I believe Home Depot has it as well, but they are literally pre-assembled cabinets. They're absolutely beautiful these are the same company that company cabinets that we use for the laundry room if you guys haven't watched that video in the laundry room we did the same thing but these cabinets come already assembled you just need a handyman to mount them to the wall and then you need to buy a countertop and I also got this butcher block from Lowe's as well like everything was from Lowe's and then you can get these handles on Amazon I think they're $20 for a pack of 30. I only needed six, so this was like maybe 15 bucks for six handles. Um, you really can customize your kitchen, your closet, whatever room in your home easily by going to Lowe's. Like, and I love the fact that they're already assembled. We don't have to worry about it. So that's what we did down here. Um, 
This width was, I believe, 83 inches. Um, so we chose 30, 30, and 18. So this is one cabinet, this is one cabinet, and this is one cabinet. And the reason I opted for a very deep drawer in the pantry is it's easier for me to organize. Like, how freaking cool is this? Look how deep the drawers are. We were able to fit all of our blenders in here, which is such a dream come true. Now it's so easy when we need a blender, we just come here and grab it. So I love these drawers. Unfortunately, you have to order these online and they'll deliver it to your house. Rarely do they have it at the actual low store that you can like go and see and pick up in person. And then down here, like, can you guys believe this? I got these containers at Home Goods. They were about like $10 each, depending on the size. And then I got these containers a long time ago when I moved in at Ikea. Ikea has amazing furniture, um, not furniture. Well, they do have amazing furniture, but organizational stuff. But you guys, look at how functional and how deep these drawers are. They are absolutely amazing. Excuse me, Rocky. Mommy's gonna open this one. This one, I still need to organize, but I kept my rice, and this is gonna be like our snack drawer. And then down here, we are keeping all of our ramen. But you guys, look how much you can put into these. Like, they're amazing. And then over here, I have a pull-out drawer. Amazing, I love it. And then down here, we decided to put all of our alcohol that fits perfectly in this cabinet as well. So I love it, it's so functional. I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, this is such a dream come true. Oh, by the way, those wood shelves you see here, these are actually custom wood shelves. I had our friend Brian Larios, who owns the Larios Project. These are the same shelf shelving that he put in our living room, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I had him cut them into like, I think these are 70 inches long. And then since they're very heavy, they're like solid oak wood, super heavy duty, like each shelf, I'm not even kidding, is probably like 20 or 30 pounds. So I went on Amazon and I got these modern looking brackets. You nail them to the wall. Um, as you guys can see there, you nail them to the wall and then there are nails right here that you nail up into the shelf. This does not move, you guys. Like this is literally going to stay here forever. It does not move. move. So I'm thinking about like putting like cereal and pastas and stuff up here. And I think it's so funny because I've always kind of been like not a fan of repackaging stuff, but I had these extra containers left over and I decided to put my pasta in it for shit and giggles and I ended up freaking loving the way that it looks. So I went on Amazon and I bought more. I got all of these on Amazon. You guys will have like a closer look at them when I organize the pantry in the next video or the video after. But these are from Amazon. It was like a set of three or six and I love them. I got these square ones. These are gonna be perfect for cereal. Um, and then these came in like little and like tall ones. Like these tall ones are perfect for like long spaghetti pasta. And then I also got these um, Oak Lazy Susans from Ikea. I'll link this down below. I think they're absolutely stunning. And I wanted to put one, two, three and display like my most used like sauces and stuff. They are so, so pretty. I have things that I need to pack and put away. Oh my God, look at this pasta that I got at Home Goods. They are huge, you guys. Like, look at this rigatoni. Oh my goodness, it is ginormous. I'm so freaking excited. And then on the top shelf there, we don't really need it because we have so much storage everywhere else, which I'm so grateful for. Um, at the top shelf, I'm going to put decor and make it all pretty. And I think that's where I'm gonna put my neighbor's olive branch that we took the other one day. But this is the pantry. I love it so much. I made sure that it was functional, but also very, very, very pretty. Um, and I love that it's an open concept. So, you know, it's really good on the eyes when people walk in. I think like this corner has become so freaking pretty. And I love the fact that now I'm able to organize and see everything. So one, we don't waste food, we don't overbuy, and we're not hoarding things inside the pantry. I am so sad, but I'm going to have to let you guys go now. I am going to organize the pantry in a different video, but I wanted to show you guys the pantry completely finished before we start organizing. Um, we're probably gonna organize on Sunday when I come back. Super crazy schedule next week. Actually, 
I don't think I can breathe until the 1st of 2023. Very, very grateful to be busy, um, but I'm actually so freaking anxious about it. I'm feeling stressed already, but it's okay. It's a good type of stress, you know? I'm excited to be working, I'm excited to be busy, and um, great things are coming. So, anywho, next video or the video after, we will organize this pantry together. I promise you guys, I will not organize this without you, and if I do, please unsubscribe, uh, please block me, please never talk to me again, because <laughs> that is a bad friend. But I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys have a great weekend, great week, wherever you are. I hope you're feeling all the cozy vibes for November. I know we have the launch coming up next week. We have the photo shoot this weekend. We have Friendsgiving that we're hosting this month. We have Thanksgiving, and then you guys, we have Vlogmas. So a lot, a lot of fun things coming up. Um, I love you guys. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Please let me know if you have any questions about the pantry. I would be more than happy to send you links or answer any of your questions. Um, just give me a little bit of time and I will definitely get back to you guys in the comments. But other than that, I will link everything down there below for you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.